Good evening and uh, welcome to all of you here at Bozar in Brussels. But also a warm welcome to uh, everyone who is watching the live stream right now on uh, the website, the Facebook page and the YouTube channel of Bozar. And thanks to the European Broadcast Union, everything is uh, also broadcasted live in Armenia, Azerbaijan and the Republic of Moldova. Tonight, we are celebrating 10 years of Eastern partnership through image and music with the motto, Creating Together. This concert aims to highlight the importance of cultural relations between the European Union and the six Eastern Partnership countries. And if there's uh, one single language, one we all speak, it is the language of music. But before I introduce this uh, evening's musical program to you, I would like to give the floor to these three gentlemen. Luc de Vigne, Deputy Managing Director for Europe and Central Asia, Director for Russia and Eastern Partnership of the European External Action Service. Vasilis Maragos, Head of Unit DJ Mir, and Paul Dujardin, CEO and Artistic Director here at Bozar. The stage is yours, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Great, and uh, good evening, ministers, excellencies, honorable members of the European Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, on behalf of the High Representative for the EU Foreign Policy, Federica Mogherini, I'm very happy to welcome you tonight. This event is only the second one, so it's an important one, that we are gathering together in such remarkable place as Bozar. As you know, we had our first uh, Eastern Partnership concert two years ago at the occasion of our Brussels Eastern Partnership Summit. And I want to thank, of course, beyond the musicians, and you are very privileged today to hear, to listen to an excellent uh, orchestra, well-renowned. Also, of course, Bozar, his general manager, Paul Dujardin, will speak. And the embassies of our six partners today, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova, and Ukraine as well, of course, as my colleagues from the European Union institutions. Tonight we demonstrate again the importance of cultural relations between the European Union and our six Eastern partners, and also between the six partners themselves. Culture is indeed a truly important element of the external, European External Action Service, diplomatic service of the EU, if you want, and it is an integral part of our foreign policy. And in a world where challenges abound, both in the EU, in the neighborhood, I think that culture is a powerful tool to build bridges between the people, particularly the young people, but not only, and to reinforce mutual understanding. It's now been 10 years that we have established the Eastern Partnership, and culture and heritage has always been a part of it from the very beginning. So tonight is a true manifestation of our stronger relations between the European Union and our six Eastern partners, as shown during these events commemorating our 10th anniversary. And I welcome this as a symbol of harmony and cultural uh, demonstration. Let me finish by three sentences, three quotes from three great jazz musicians, which I thought were particularly appropriate for tonight. The first one is by a great trumpetist, both in classical music and in jazz, Winton Marsalis. There is so much spirit of integration and democracy in jazz. The second one is by Herbie Hancock. It is not exclusion, but inclusion, which is the whole spirit of jazz. The spirit of jazz is the spirit of openness. And the last by the drummer Max Roach, jazz is a very democratic musical form. It comes out of a communal experience. We take out our respective instruments and collective, collectively create a thing of beauty. So we're very honored to have you all here. We're looking forward to see many of you tomorrow at the Eastern Partnership High Level Conference, and we wish you a very good evening. Thank you. Good evening, ministers, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 
on behalf of Commissioner Han and the European Commission, I would like to welcome you to Bozar for uh, this evening's unique jazz concert celebrating the 10th year anniversary of the Eastern Partnership. As we all know, the core message of the Eastern Partnership is stronger together. And tonight we are very pleased that we can match this with uh, the theme of the concert, which is creating together. Longfellow had said that music is the universal language of mankind. What better way to celebrate 10 years of working together, being stronger together, than through a concert in which the Beaux-Arts has collected, collected outstanding soloists which, who are going to uh, perform for us from all six Eastern Partnership countries. They will be appearing on stage in pairs, but also in threes, together with the Brussels Jazz Orchestra. The European Commission supports culture in the Eastern Partnership countries and in the region through bilateral, regional, but also uh, cross-border programs. Cultural relations and dialogue are an engine for sustainable social and economic development, a facilitator for better contacts between people, but also better intercommunity relations. It's pivotal for the protection of our common cultural heritage. We are united in diversity within the European Union, but also with our Eastern neighborhood countries. We are now designing a new u for culture program for these uh, countries to support cultural exchanges, cultural heritage, but also future creation. I would like to thank in particular Bozar for being at the forefront of these exchanges and these preparations, not only now, but also throughout this period. I believe that culture plays an important part in creating the best conditions for people-to-people -people contacts, but also for a better understanding among each other, for stability in our region. The most important thing is, of course, that it is bringing people together, as it has brought all of us to enjoy this uh, unique concert tonight. I hope you are going to enjoy the performance. Thank you. Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, thank you, Luc de Vigne, thank you, Vasilis Maragos. It's a great pleasure and above all an honor for me to welcome you tonight in Beaux-Arts, the Center for Foreign Arts, for this artistic intermezzo between the two days of work at a high-level conference on the Eastern Partnership. This concert is the result of the combined efforts of the European Commission, the Geneva, the European External Action Services, yes, and the Center for Fine Arts, but also of the musicians and the visual artists themselves. This concert was really created together and produced by the Bosa music team. Creation is an important dimension in arts, and art speaks about human beings, and the society share emotions and values, make citizens participate in the present and dialogue with past and future. Eastern Partnership is in the first place about economics, politics, and institution building. Education and research are part of the cooperation programs but it would be a mistake to forget about arts and culture. The cultural developments in the Eastern Partnership countries are truly fascinating. And at the opportunity to personally visit most of your countries and to meet with visual artists, scientists, creators, musicians, actors, and organizations, and a lot of stakeholders related to the arts have been very impressed by the creativity and the dynamism of everybody I met. Your artists merit to be known, and they are manifestation of the cultural creativity of your countries and an important contribution to the world culture. As a cultural and artistic platform, Bozar intends to be 
a place where Europe can show itself to the world and where the world can present itself to Europe and where creative people can meet and learn about each other and where synergies and cooperation can be developed. Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, thank you for being here. And I wish you an excellent evening and hope that we will be able to meet you again at future occasions at the Center for Fine Arts in Brussels. Thank you. Thank you very much, Francis Maragos, Luc de Vigne, and Paul Dujardin. As I said, uh, the theme of this concert is creating together, and that's exactly what tonight's musicians will do. We are taking on a musical trip through six countries, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Republic of Moldova, and Ukraine, with tunes arranged especially for this concert, and brought to you by a soloist from the tunes country of origin, along with uh, one guest soloist from one of the five other Eastern Partnership countries. A musical joint venture between six brilliant soloists and our Brussels Jazz Orchestra. Without exaggerating, it is one of Europe's best big bands. They have been part of the scene for over a quarter of a century, having celebrated their 25th anniversary last year. Their trademark is inventive and passionate music. BGO performs jazz with a dynamic orchestral sound rooted in the jazz tradition. And every single one of its musicians are outstanding soloists. And they have collaborated with some of the greatest jazz musicians, including Philippe Catherine, Kenny Werner and uh, Toots Tielemans. Please give them a warm round of applause, the Brussels Jazz Orchestra. But there's more, <laughs> there's more. This uh, evening's music will be amplified by a visual element. We have two VJs here on stage who will conjure up a landscape of visual impressions during the concert. Please welcome Jagoda Halczynska, Jago VJ from uh, Poland, and Gemma Wumor, VJ Gem, the misfit from New Zealand. And we will kick off this concert in Ukraine with Claustrophobia, a song by Ukrainian trumpet player Dima Bondarev, who now lives in Berlin. Drummer Joey Barron, with whom Dima Bondarev often played, is uh, for one a fan. His warm, thoughtful playing and writing is a treat. It makes Dima Bondarev a much sought after musician. Tonight he will be joined on stage by a compatriot of his, the Ukrainian pianist Anastasia Litvinyuk. And she can also be included amongst the top of Ukrainian jazz artists. And the third soloist is the Moldovan guitarist Dan Bruma. He believes that uh, the mission of every musician is to find his own voice. And the way he chose to do this was uh, by searching the roots of his native culture. The BGO with Jago Vijay, Anastasia Litviniuk on piano, Dan Bruma on guitar and Dima Bondarev on trumpet. Claustrophobia.
the Brussels Jazz Orchestra with uh, Jago Vijay. Anastasia Litvini on piano, Dan Bruma on guitar, and Dima Bondarev on trumpet with claustrophobia. And now we move on from Ukraine to Georgia with the song When Almonds Blossomed by Gia Kanchel. Georgia's most distinguished living composer, who's currently living in Belgium. Gia Kanchel creates music that draws infinite breath. Every time he leads the audience to where he wants it to go, to a mood of contemplation and reflection. His song, When Almonds Blossomed, was arranged to suit the occasion by trombonist Dre Peermans. And he provided two lead roles for the Georgian pianist Papuna Sharikadze and the Armenian saxophonist David Melkonian. Papuna Sharikadze is a, a piano phenomenon, started with classical piano at the age of six, but then uh, started to lean more towards jazz in his teenage years. Before long, he was booked at the Umbria Jazz Festival and owing to his success at this festival, Papuna won a full scholarship for his jazz education at Berklee College of Music, where he just graduated. And uh, standing at this side, we have saxophonist David Melkonian from Armenia. He was imbued with music from an early age. His grandfather is a great Armenian composer, his mother is a harpist, and his father a bassist. David Melkonian was kind of coerced into classical piano, but soon switched to saxophone and jazz, although he hasn't forgotten his uh, classical roots. So please enjoy When Almonds Blossomed with Cem de Misfits, Brussels Jazz Orchestra, Papuna Sharikadze on piano and David Melkonian on saxophone.
Festivals Jazz Orchestra, Papuna Sharikadze on piano, and David Melkonyan on saxophone. Now to Belarus, a country with a rich musical tradition, not only in folk music, but uh, also in jazz music. Every year, the international festival jazz in Minsk sets the Belarus capital on fire. It's a long way from Belarus to Brussels, but he made it. Saxophone player Vladislav Kalinowski, once uh, a student of classical music at a music college in Minsk. He's now studying jazz at the Belarusian State University of Culture and Art. Afghan Razul is his uh, compagnon de route for this evening. He's a jazz pianist from Azerbaijan who has already walked the boards at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. They will shortly perform Enchanted by Igor Luchenok, arranged by Lorde Mertens, BGO trombonist. Enchanted, which I'm sure is uh, what you will be after this performance by BGO, Jago Vijay, pianist Afghan Razul, and saxophone player Vladislav Kalinowski from Belarus.
pianist uh, Afghan Rasul and saxophone player Vladislav Kalinowski with the Brussels Jazz Orchestra. And now we're heading to Azerbaijan, where the annual Baku International Jazz Festival attracts some of the world's greatest talents every year. And one of those talents is uh, pianist Aziza Mustafa Zadeh, also known as the Princess of Jazz because of her looks, uh, long, beautiful hair, and her incredible voice. Her father is uh, also a pianist and a composer, Vagif Mustafa Zadeh, and he wrote a song for his daughter that uh, will be performed for us in a little while, Waiting for Aziza, arranged for this concert by French pianist Jeffrey Fiorese. Soloist Afghan Razul once again on the piano, together with second soloist Dima Bondarev on trumpet, and of course this uh, Brussels Jazz Orchestra and VJ Jem the Misfit, waiting for Aziza.
Next, we have the Moldovan guitarist Dan Bruma. He's an absolute all-rounder. Not only is he a, a great guitarist, he's also a superb composer. And he wrote the next song, Chisinau, the capital of the next country, up this evening, the Republic of Moldova. Chisinau is arranged by French trumpet player Pierre Drevet, featuring the Brussels Jazz Orchestra, Jago Vijay, Dan Bruma on guitar, Vladislav Kalinowski once more on saxophone, and Ukrainian pianist Anastasia Litvinyuk.
And this uh, brings us to the final song for this evening, Keskatak, which puts us in Armenia. In Armenia, jazz is not just loved, the entire country is literally living in the rhythm of jazz, unhurriedly, without fuss or rush, enjoying the moment. But according to saxophone player David Melkonian, no matter what kind of music Armenians play, they will always remember folk music as well. Here is Keskatak, arranged by Armin Husnuns from Armenia, with Papuna Sharikadze on piano, David Melkonian on saxophone, VJ Jem the Misfit, and Brussels Jazz Orchestra.
great groove in this uh, cask attack. Papuna Sharikadze on piano and David Melkonian on saxophone. And now we have arrived at the grand final. All soloists uh, of tonight together for one final tune with the Brussels Jazz Orchestra. And what a fantastic orchestra this is. Let me introduce them to you. On saxophone, Frank Vaganet, Dieter Lemboer, Kurt van Herk, Bart de Voort en Bo van der Werf. On trombones, Marc Godfroy, Lode Mertes, Frederik Herman and Laurent Hendrik. <applaus> On trumpet, Serge Plume, Nico Schepers, Pierre Drouet and Jeroen van Malderen. <applaus> On guitar, Hendrik Braakman. <applaus> Bass, Bartenolf. And drums, Tony Vita Colonna. <laughs> and here you are, all the soloists of tonight in The Blues Goose by Frank Vagani. Thank you. 